Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to easily place any text into perfect perspective, just like this. The text follows the left wall, and then it follows the right wall, and it follows the planes nicely. How did I do it? Nice and easy, let me show you. I'll delete this layer, we'll start from scratch. First step, you want to grab your text tool, and then you're going to type in what you want it to say. So I'm going to go perspective, why not, right? I'm original here, I know, it's very original, Curtis. Then I'm just going to move it into the middle-ish area, something like that. Okay, the next step is we're going to go to Edit, and we're going to select Perspective Warp. Perspective, not Puppet, Perspective Warp. And then it's going to ask to rasterize the layer, click on OK. And we're going to draw two little grids. So we're going to draw a grid like this. Just left-click and then hold down and pull the grid. And then draw one like this as well. And they're basically the same size, and they're going to connect. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on the Warp option. Don't start moving these pins yet. We want to click Warp first. Once you click Warp, now we're going to be giving the directions to Photoshop regarding perspective. And I'm just going to move these pins into the corners of the wall, or whatever you're working on. But we're working on this wall here. So I'm just moving them into the corners, just like this. And as I do that, the text is perfectly following the wall. And it got really, really big, really, really quick. That's okay. When you're done, click on that little check mark. And then presto, it's in perfect perspective. If you want to decrease the size, make sure the Move tool is selected. And then just go ahead and reduce the size, something like that. That's all you need to know, guys. Thanks for watching.